Are you looking for a way to take any image provided to you and make it 3D? Well, I'm gonna show you a cost-effective, time-efficient way to take any digital image from any one cell phone, make it 3D in moments, and subsurface laser engrave it using a 3D laser box, any green beam laser, or any UV laser that has been designed for subsurface laser engraving. Stick around, Cockpit 3D, powered by 3dcrystal.com, next. And welcome to Cockpit 3D powered by 3dcrystal.com. This one's gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna show you how to take any image, make it 3D. I'm also going to play with backgrounds. So if a customer asks you to keep a background or move a background, keep part of a background, etc., I'll show you exactly how to do it for subsurface laser engraving using Cockpit 3D and the FastPass system. First thing you wanna do is go to cockpit3d.com, uh, click on the big orange go button, fill out your information, let us know if it's a UV laser or a green beam that you're using. Once you submit that, we'll set up your account, you'll be good to go. Once you log in over here, you'll see that you can either select no shape uh, or you can select from many different shapes of crystal styles that we supply. We actually cut the slabs. We supply it directly from Asia to most of the world. We also export it to Toronto and have a center in Toronto where we're able to um, supply North America very, very quickly with no minimum order quantity as well. In this case, I'm gonna select the rectangle wide. I'm gonna select on extra large. I'm gonna upload a photo. I'm gonna select a photo. And here we have my family photo for this holiday season. So happy holidays from my family to yours. And in this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to keep the background. So let's assume that the customer, uh, in this case, myself, have asked to keep the entire background. To do so, I just very easily click on keep background. Um, if as the laser operator, you want to enter any details, they're gonna help you reference the photo. You might wanna put your customer's name. You can do that. If you wanna leave it blank, you can do that as well and just submit the order. Once you submit the order, you should see it show up on your main control panel. And here it is on my control panel. You'll see here I have Cinematic HD and Enhance. Uh, these are very, very powerful functions. Cinematic HD makes it look stellar for subsurface engraving. Uh, it optimizes the tones, it highlights, uh, it sets the contrast appropriately. And essentially all you wanna do is, in most cases, by default, keep it on. Enhancement will pretty much sharpen the image. You wanna by default keep that on as well. However, if for whatever reason you wanted to turn it off for this particular order, you can just uncheck it over here. But I recommend keeping these on at all times. Just click on Sync to Auto Convert 3D and it will do its magic. Now, in the meantime, what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of take you through a couple other scenarios. Let's click on Add New Order again. We're gonna select the shape. We're gonna upload the photo. And in this case, what I'm going to ask is that we remove the background. So I'm not gonna check mark, keep background. Uh, and so when we actually sync this over to auto convert, it will remove the background. Now, when it does that, this image is gonna look kind of small in the crystal because all of this is gonna be gone. So, you know, you're gonna have very, very small faces. And most people that are buying a 3D crystal are really purchasing it for a good 3D facial impression. And so therefore, keep that in mind. I recommend that you maximize the size or at least increase it and then submit the order and we'll take a look at it once it's processed and we're going to sync to auto convert 3d all right now let's take a look at a scenario where a customer says you know what i want the family i want the couch that they're sitting on and i want a couple of the trees in the background but i don't want that wall in the background so uh, in that case what you're going to do is open up the image in a photo editor you're going to want to trim out whatever the customer has asked that they do not want in the crystal and you're going to um, essentially make sure that the foreground is saved on a black background. You need to remember that in subsurface engraving, black represents zero points. It represents a transparency pretty much. So if you save the image like this, you're going to be good to go. So that's exactly what I've done. I'm, gonna now, I'm now going to click on add new order. I'm going to select the same size of crystal. And this time I'm going to select the image that has the background removed. We'll just play around with the sizing a little bit.
And um, we are going to select keep background because if I do not select that, it will then assume that the trees should not be there and it'll clip it all out again, similar to the original. Uh, well, not the original, but the second scenario. So um, this time we want to keep background and it'll keep it exactly as I have edited it before submitting it to auto convert. And now I'm going to click on sync to auto convert 3D. Okay, fantastic. So uh, I've actually already done this in advance to save time. So if I now uh, simply click on the preview button here, I will see the order in the crystal, the preview. I can approve it. Now you'll notice on the side here, I don't have the option to download the file yet until I click on approve. Once I approve it, It reveals the download button and I can now download the file and I'll do that for each of the files. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at each of the files in Cockpit 3D so we can see that here is the one where we kept the background and essentially all we need to do is make sure that we have our point space settings correct. So for uh, the 3D laser box, we like to do it at 07.14 and 842. Okay and click on go. Uh, if you're using a UV laser, I've seen different settings from different users. On XY, you might wanna do 0 0.06. On Z, you might wanna keep it at 0 0.06 and then do your layers at 8.52. So let's take a look here. So here you would go 0 0.06, 0 0.06, uh, 8.52. 0 0.05, okay? If you have a UV laser. Uh, in my case, uh, it's a 3D laser box and we're gonna burn this uh, on a jet mini uh, and so therefore uh, i know the settings for that laser and it generates about six million points uh, if you were to tighten the points for a uv it's going to increase the number of points and therefore of course it means that it's going to take longer to burn and that's really because we've got so much white in this image right so all this extra white is what creates all those additional points uh, if you want to save some time in your burn what you can do is either you can space this out. So instead of doing 0 0.06, you can increase it to 0 0.07 or you can uh, keep it at 0 0.06 and you can, in your geometry settings, just reduce your number of layers from eight to six, for example, uh, and that will reduce the number of points. Or you can just pretty much remove any white uh, that you don't need by clicking on the Photoshop or photo editor with this icon here. If you have the premium version of Cockpit 3D, it'll launch your photo editor, and then you can make some changes to this file. Um, all right, now, I wanna show you something, is, is that this was the version that had the background included. Um, we also have a version where we removed the background, and it looks like this uh, over here. Let me just rotate it the right way. So I'll actually keep this in the recording so that you can see how I do it. Uh, if I click on the template here, it opens up, um, you know, the the templates and this already is what I selected it to be when I placed the order which was the 3d rectangle extra large so it's already that size but the difference is that um, by default uh, in our world we like everything being rotated 90 and kept vertical so that way uh, the staff who are loading the lasers are always loading crystals vertically even if the photo is horizontal all we're doing is rotating at 90 degrees but we're always loading things vertically it reduces error uh, it many times will uh, optimize the usage of the field of view of the lasers that we um, that we carry and that we offer to the market uh, in this case i really don't want you to complain about getting a stiff neck looking at every, everything sideways on your screen so let me help you out so 120 80 60 okay and i'll remove that 90 degree rotation and now i'm just going to click on let me just make sure that the settings are correct we said 0714 um 85842 save okay and click on go and let's just see um so in that case um we had uh what was it six million plus points and now we have 3.7 million points now this is the version that kept part of the background right so you can imagine that 3.7 million points it is possible that the other version that we did where it's just the family without the trees will be less it might be it might be around the same because even though it won't have the background in that case we zoomed into the faces so the people are larger but let's take a look so here it is over here i'm not going to take the time to rotate this time just going to click on go um 07 14 
Now I'm assuming from my other tutorials, you already understand what those numbers mean. So I'm just kind of going by them really quickly. But if you need a further explanation, mention it in the comments and I'll take care of uh, doing a video specifically on explaining those fields. Um, you can see here, 2.3 million points, right? So it's a lot less points, a lot quicker to burn. So um, essentially that's how um, you prepare the files. Now I am gonna do one more here and I'm going to demonstrate it from beginning right through to actually burning the crystal, okay? So we're gonna add a new order and we're gonna select the prestige. The reason I'm doing this one is not only to kind of take you from beginning to end to show you the whole process, but also because what I would like to do is I would like to show you how easy it is to burn with a 3D laser box. So from beginning to end, assuming that you're running a business, okay? So not so much so as a hobbyist, but more as a business, how you would be able to very efficiently um, take the order from the customer and have it put into the crystal very quickly. So we're gonna size it. Remember that the background is gonna be removed. So I'm gonna keep us larger. And just so you know, like when you have these shapes like hearts and prestiges like this, it looks really nice. You can see the fading along uh, the edge. So the white's not gonna be there because I am gonna ask it to remove the background, but at least over here, you see, um, we don't want, we kind of like want it, the, people to kind of touch the edges it it looks really nice right? we don't want to kind of just have blank space on the side so um I'll try and do this the best i can so now i've got it along the edge here 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 i think that looks good um and i'm going to submit the order now we click on sync to auto convert 3d And once it's done, we download and we open it and here's what it looks like. All right, now a couple things before I save the point cloud for my laser, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some inscriptions. So I just click on the letter T here and over here, I'll just put dad with kids. You can select your font as well. I'm gonna size it, I'll just move it. And I realized that it might be a little long for this shape, so I'm gonna put it on a second line. And remember, this is 3D, so you wanna look at it from the side. And you'll notice that the text is kinda in the middle, so we wanna move it closer to the front, okay? This yellow line is the safety margin. So when we go to our template here you'll see that we've kept a margin so then that way images don't touch the surface and then what we're going to do is you see i can kind of see it fading out here you want to have a you see that there that's because of the light map you see that that's the same light map that is causing it to fade along the edges here so that the image doesn't get cl too close whoops there's two layers here let's just click on the text layer doesn't get too close to the edge because we don't want it to touch the edge and then that causes melting and cracking and everything else. So 07, 14, 8, 4, 2, save, okay, click on go. And it's very quick. And you'll see it's very, very fast to burn as well. So from photo, uploaded, we selected the template at the time of upload. I could have also put the inscription at the time of upload, but I decided to do it in Cockpit this time. Uh, all I did was open it up in Cockpit, um, click on Go, and now I'm gonna save it. If you have a UV laser, you're saving it as a GLB or an STL. If you have a green beam laser, and if you're running the 3D laser box series, you save it as a TKBR, and then you load it on the laser. So I'm gonna go ahead, take it over there, and show you the rest of how it works. All right, so what we're gonna do is this is the Jet Mini. We're just going to change the template. So we want the template that has the small prestige that we saved on Cockpit 3D. And it actually has pegs, so you just kind of fit it in really nicely. And then you've got the blank crystal that we supply. Just remove the sleeve. Wipe it, you can either use another cloth or take the red microfiber that's in here because in subsurface engraving, it's important that the light can penetrate right through without any disturbances whatsoever. And then we're just gonna place it directly on top where it belongs. And in the laser software, we're just gonna open up the file. And you'll notice that with the Jet Mini, you don't have to worry about setting any sort of a Z depth or height you don't have to kind of make 
beams align up to find the center point or to find the uh, correct uh, Z uh, location. It's just a matter of clicking on go. And it knows exactly where to go and what to do. Uh, and what we've done is we've created a transparent window here so that if you are in a location at an event, at a retail spot, customers can actually watch it being made. Now this crystal here has a little over 3 million points and uh, we expect that it's going to be done in between 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's out of the laser. All right, so it's done. We can see here it actually took just 23 minutes and 39 seconds to actually burn over 3 million points. And if I pull it out, you can see the quality. In fact, I'm going to take it here into the laser room and hold it up in the air where you can see the clarity of the crystal. You can see the positioning is also really, really perfect based on exactly what we uploaded at the time we were sending the order through the FastPass system. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, please indicate them in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.